What up everybody? This week at Savage, we're gonna be working on this SC300. This is a 1JZ GT non-DVTI. The customer actually just purchased this vehicle for around 9K and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go over all the changes we're gonna be making because as usual, it's not all right, but he is a few steps ahead of the game. He, the car already came with an AM Infinity, already came with a top mount turbo, which we're gonna be changing by the way, and a China wastegate, which we're gonna be throwing in the trash as well. Um, I'm gonna be going ahead and putting cams like we always do with all of our builds and uh, converting all the wiring to make it all right because it's just a mess underneath there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through this real quick. I'm gonna flip the camera, uh, show you what's going on in the bay, what we're gonna be changing, why we're gonna be changing it, and uh, show you some of the wiring mess there's under the dash. So let's get it. So overall, super, super clean car. I like the green. They're kind of rare to find in decent condition like this. And the Vienna Courage he's got on the car too. It's pretty nice, good fitment. So yeah, he's got this, uh, I don't even know what manufacturer Chinese turbo this is. The intercooler piping is just horrible. Running through like the, I guess, OEM twin turbo kind of location for how they used to do it. I mean, I don't run my piping like that. So hopefully we'll go ahead and change that up just to make him look better and have the car be built properly for space and just, you know, better flow. Uh, the wastegate actually is stuck open. He claimed it was a tile, but I guess we'll find out once we get there since I can't really see anything anyways. Um, so yeah, there's like boost controllers over here for the true boost and he's got like an onboard wideband because the car obviously used to be on uh, on like V2. So it's got like an external gauge with like a, you know, wire that goes from auxiliary from the gauge to the ECU. Uh, I mean, I don't know why it was set up like that, but I mean, they have this really weird jumper inside. The car is manual already. I believe it's a factory five speed. So let me go ahead and get in here real quick. So we get in here and we got a nice built harness, but um, here's that jumper I was talking about. I, I don't know who builds this, but I mean, it's kind of interesting that they would just leave the back of the whole entire connector just open like this to where like it could arc out on ground or something could touch it or you could kick it. I mean, typically everybody that I know insulate this with like hot glue or you know put something there to where you can't do that so i guess what i'll do is i'll finish the wiring for him and then i'm gonna go ahead and uh i'll sheathe everything make it look all pretty and then we'll go ahead and just glue it all up so it's no longer an issue so i mean a lot of work to do under the dash um but gauges are a little redundant when you're gonna have uh, infinity that has a can system so let's get all this shit situated we're gonna start going ahead and tearing apart the engine getting the turbo and the manifold and the wastegate off or whatever we're gonna do and get the engine pulled apart. So we're, so we're pretty much almost there. Turbo's out, wastegate's already off and out. Valve covers are off. We get ready to start doing the cams right now. And everything's pretty much on the floor. The coil packs out, the valve covers, the old turbo, the old wastegate we already threw in the trash because it was garbage. So almost there. So I've already gone ahead and cut out and pretty much removed everything that was unnecessary for in here. I even also pulled out the gauges because we're going to be going can. So it's super redundant to have to run a wide band and a bunch of other gauges that you don't need when the can system will show you everything. That's part of the reason why customers go to Haltech Elite or AEM Infinity. Look at that new turbo. Woo! So we already got one cam in on the intake side. We're gonna be doing the exhaust side right now. And then I'm gonna be going ahead and putting the timing all back together and getting it all ready to start back up. Still gotta put the brand new wastegate on. These are the gates that we use, these Turbo Smart Hyper gates. They're super great because they come with a little twist off, little collar, similar to like a coilover. So they're really, really easy to work with. The cool thing too is you can order them with the 14 PSI spring already in them and they also come with like two or three other springs and everything else that's in it that you can also water cool them as well but definitely my favorite way skate we use it on pretty much every single one of our builds trying out the new purple one this time i never used uh, this color before but they're all the same stuff so good stuff man just uh gonna finish putting the cams in and then uh hopefully we'll be started by the end of the day so cams are all torqued down ready to go gonna put the valve covers and the timing on right now Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday and it is Dino Day for the SC300. In a few minutes here, we're gonna be getting this thing started on AEM Infinity 506. The car originally came in with an Infinity in a box, but it was running on basically 
an AEM V1 V2 setup that was not really set up the way that you wanted it to be done. So we went ahead and upgraded everything. If you've already followed the video, obviously you've already seen we upgrade the Comp Turbo, the cams, but last time you guys saw it, the valve covers were off and it was not a complete product. So I'm gonna be flipping the camera right now and showing you what it looks like now. Like I had already said initially, we're gonna be getting everything set up to get going out of here in the next few minutes. My, my buddy Danny from Unrival Tuning is gonna be here in probably a few seconds. So let me flip the camera and show you guys what's going on and let's get it. So this is finished product. We went ahead and painted up the front, cleaned it all up, got one of our little badass top covers on it, deleted a whole bunch of vacuum lines, and it looks way better. No more crazy piping that goes through the fender. It's gonna go down. I'm gonna go ahead and put the air filter on right here for when we're gonna be on dyno. And I mean, it's just looking so much better. A lot of things that I personally change, like the battery needs to go on the trunk and a little bit of other stuff. But I mean, for the customer's budget, all in all, it looks way, way, way better than when it came in. And guess what? He's gonna be all proper and super, super happy with the outcome. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing going and let's get it on the dyno. We are on our way with a base mapped and running AEM Infinity SC300 on our way to Apex to USA. It's only about 15 minutes down the street from my shop. And I have to just say, what a huge difference in how this car runs, even just on this base map. Shout out to my boy, Danny G. He is a amazing tuner. And uh, I'm just super, super excited about how the day is gonna go because just 50% increase, even just on like initial setup, compared to what this guy had in his car to begin with. So this is gonna be a great day, super excited. Can't wait to see what the outcome is. Gonna keep the customer in the loop the whole entire day, do some two-step, get some pops and bangs, and let's get it. We are here, st 300 on the dyno right now. We're gonna go ahead and get started. What is up everybody? We're about to do final polls on E85 on the SE300 right now. We're super, super excited to see what it's gonna get. We're going for about 450, 500-ish, so let's check it out. So this is gonna be the last poll on the SE300 on E85. Let's see what it does. We are back here at the shop. It's Saturday morning. This is the end of our video. Yesterday went great. Super, super happy with the outcome. 357 horsepower on 91 octane. At the changeover, watch a gradual increase of power from 357 to 507. Some great dyno videos, nice pulls. Got some pops and bangs at the end. So customers are super happy. He definitely wasn't even looking for 500, but I mean, typical customer going, I want 400, I want 450, and then calling him and being like, hey, you're at 400, 450, would you wanna go up or you're good? 
no, I want 500. So we gave him 500. Um, he's super, super happy. We're super, super happy. I love doing builds like this. Stay with the channel. Uh, you'll see many, many more like this. A lot of really, really cool builds to come. And uh, we appreciate you.